Hi, this is a demonstration on how you create um, Wi-Fi voucher in Omada Cloud Controller in 2025 uh, intended for the G-Connect app. So first, you need to log in using your account. Okay, you will be redirected to the dashboard. Then the first page that you will see is the global view. Click on the global view. Click on your site. And then in the left hand side, you scroll down to the hotspot module. And then you will be redirected to the hotspot management page so to create wi-fi voucher simply click on the voucher drop down and select voucher groups okay so uh, for the gconnect app we only need two types of voucher now we have uh, vouchers for gcash or for the automation and we have uh, printed vouchers uh, yung print natin so Okay, let's create a sample uh, Wi-Fi voucher. So, to create that, we need to click the Create Voucher Group button. And then, let's uh, put the group name for this. So, for example, let's name it uh, Gcash Vouchers. Uh, lagyan natin ng uh, price. Gcash Vouchers, 5 PHP. Ayan, then for the portal, just select the port, your uh, hotspot portal na ginagamit nyo. No? Uh, for the code length, uh, you can select 6 up to 10 codes. So, yung sa akin, ano, no? uh, 10. And the code format, number only. And since this is for testing purpose only, I'll just put 10, 10 pieces. And then, I'll leave portal logout uh, check. And then, for the type, I'll select limited online users and then the duration type leave it as is timing i'll select by usage no para makonsume niya talaga yung uh, kung ilang oras yung nasa voucher niya uh, yung by usage kasi meron siyang uh, pause timer so every time na mag disconnect siya sa wifi nagpo-pause yung time niya so okay so I'll put 1 hour and i'll don't I don't uh, put rate limit and traffic limit. So, depende na sa inyo yan. Uh, by default, voucher effectivity is one year. So, depende na rin sa inyo kung babaguhin nyo. Kasi yung by usage, by default, meron talaga siyang expiration date na one year. Meaning, after a year, kailangan nyo nang palitan yung vouchers nyo. Kasi mag-expire talaga siya. So, ito importante. For the unit price, lagyan nyo talaga ng presyo. So, if this is 5 peso voucher, you put 5 pesos and then uh, print comments, I leave it blank. For the description, I leave it blank since pang Gcash naman siya for automation. And then, I'll click save. Okay. So, makikita na the newly created voucher is on the last page now. So, ayan. Gcash voucher, 5 PHP. Okay, that's for the automation. Then let's create another batch. Uh, this batch naman is um, printed vouchers. Yung in-name natin. Still 5 PHP. Same portal. I'll do 10. And then number format, 10 pieces. Printed online users. Duration type, by usage pa din. 1 hour. Leave it as is, the rest and then 5 pesos leave comment blank and then for the description we need this now for the printed voucher so it will be separated from the automated voucher so lagyan natin ng ano, print voucher so ito yung pinaka distinction nya dun sa ano, uh, gcash vouchers let's save it and then as you can see ayan meron na gcash voucher and Printed vouchers, dalawa na sila. So, we can check these batches, this two batch. And then, dito, sa bagong update, no, sa new interface, meron na tayong export voucher. 
na option sa hotspot management na page. Dati wala to. So, okay. Let's export the two batch of vouchers. Okay. Of course, CSV. Where did you connect up? Ayan, download lang. Save lang natin sa download. Tapos, tingnan natin. Lipat ako dito sa uh, virtual machine ko. And then, open natin yung uh, exported CSV file. Let's check. So, ito yung itsura niya. Ayan. Ayan. So, ano pala siya, no? Kahit, kahit hindi mo i-highlight yung iba talagang yung ini-export niya is yung ano lahat ng vouchers even yung mga ano uh, old vouchers na na-create o hindi yung uh, sinelect ko lang so ayan medyo unexpected yung behavior niya pero anyways ano natin tagalin na natin yung ano mga lumang vouchers let's stick with the uh, newly created ones para for our testing no Sige. Okay. So, ganito yung itsura niya. No? You have... Yung important lang naman dito is yung code, uh, the price, the duration, and uh, the type. Kasi ito yung uh, may interaction sa, sa G-Connect na logic. So, ayan. Also, the portals pala. The portal uh, name will be the hotspot name or yung SSID dun sa printed vouchers. So, yan. Okay. So, ganyan yung tura niya. Let's save it. Okay. So, yan. Nakasave. So, gagawin nyo na lang. Uh, save nyo na lang to sa ano. Or i-drag or i-copy-paste nyo na lang to sa dun sa G-Connect app na raw CSV folder. Ayan. Yun yung gagawin nyo. Copy-paste or drag. And then, yan. Good to go na kayo. Pwede nyo nang i-run yung G-Connect app. At siya na yung mag-automate ng process. Create ng macro. Pag-segregate uh, ng mga uh, vouchers according to amount. And then pag-synchronize ng mga voucher codes sa macro drive. So that's it for this demo. Uh, thank you very much. See you sa mga next videos. Bye-bye.